In this video, I'll show you how to publish your QGIS projects to GIS Cloud using our Publisher plugin. And later, I'll show you how to make this data editable in GIS Cloud. Let's get started. After you open the project you wish to publish, the first thing you must do in QGIS is install the GIS Cloud Publisher plugin. Simply click on Plugins and open Manage and Install Plugins. In the search bar, just type in GIS Cloud, find and install the plugin. I've already installed the plugin on my end, so I'm good to go. Before publishing your project, make sure that you set the classifications and symbology you wish to use, as it will all be published to GIS Cloud. Next, simply log into the publisher with your GIS Cloud credentials. Okay, just gotta paste my password. Great. You can choose to publish all layers in the map or just the visible ones. To publish the project, just click on Publish Map. You will be prompted to define the name of the map in GIS Cloud and whether you want the map to be private or available to the public. To publish the project, just click on Publish Map. All you have to do is wait a few seconds until all the layers are published. and you will be prompted to save the project in case you want to update it at a later date. Okay, great. Once the map is published, you can open it in GIS Cloud, be it by clicking on the button in the publisher or copying the link to your browser. Now we're in the map editor and we see that the map is published and all of the classifications and symbology are fully preserved. If you just want to share this data with others, you are good to go. Either make the map public if you haven't already, or for private maps, share them with specific users. If you'd like to continue working on this map, keep watching. Let's make this data editable. When you open the layer properties, you can see that the source type is file. This means that the layer is saved in the file manager. Here, in the source location, you can also see the name of the folder where the layers are stored. Data from published projects is saved in the QGIS folder in your file manager. In the QGIS folder, each published map gets its own folder where the layers are stored. The number in the name of the folder is the ID of your published map. To make layers editable, they must be imported into the GIS Cloud database. To import layers into the database, navigate to the Tools tab and click on Database Manager. In this window, click on Import Geospatial File. This opens the source browser and in the file manager, find the QGIS folder and open the folder where the published layers are stored. Click on the shape file and click on select to begin the import process. In the next window, you define the name of the table in the database, the projection, encoding, and geometry type of your layer. Once you're done, just click on import. And we are importing, in my case, a point layer. Okay, wait a few seconds. And great, the layer is imported. The next step is to add it to the map, but without changing the symbology that was published from QGIS. This is done by changing the source of the layer. Open the layer properties and click on change source. In the source browser, click on database, find the layer that you've previously imported and click select. Now all that you have to do is save the change. Awesome, the map is updated and this layer is now editable in GIS Cloud and the symbology and classification are preserved. This is also indicated by the source type, which is PostGIS. You can add new features, delete features and edit attribute data. Repeat this process for layers you would like to edit in GIS Cloud. Even before making your data editable, you can filter it in the data grid without having to rely only on your set classifications and symbology. After making data editable, you can use all of our analysis tools to get more insight into your data. Next, you can make changes to your data, be it just editing attributes or adding or deleting features from your layers. And finally, you can create a form in the Forms Manager and connect it to a layer on the map to prepare it for field data collection with our mobile data collection app. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.